Hey guys, welcome back to my series of custom challenge runs in the Binding of Isaac 1.5 edition. So, uh, today's challenge is called Blast It with Piss, and we are using number one as well as infinite item power, lemon mishap, and our only restrictions are that we cannot pick up any range ups, which I just in time realized then all stats up actually involved so that really sucks dick we have to leave the magic mushroom where it is um, but anyway yeah I've done an infinite item power um, lemon mishap run before and it was pretty disastrous because it turns out it is really goddamn hard to kill things just with lemon mishap sometimes so I've sort of broadened the uh, the allowed stuff this time and let myself use uh, number one as well uh, which is obviously gonna make it a whole lot easier and maybe possible to make it past the caves it was really funny last time I did it if you haven't seen the run I actually died to peep both times which was very ironic but turns out it's incredibly difficult to kill peep with just living this out <laughs> alright we got 14 cents on the first floor one more penny wow okay one key and we can go to the shop and uh, that could be really awesome when you buy something on the very first floor, which is always a good way to start off your run right. Come on, man. So uh, I've had a pretty crazy morning. I um, was gone like all day yesterday, so I didn't have time to record anything. That's not true. I recorded a head-to-head -head yesterday, and that took up the recording time I could have used for today's upload. So I woke up this morning, and I was like, you know what? I feel like some FTL. So I tried to record FTL, and Jesus fucking Christ. That game trolled the shit out of me. Uh, just All I'm going to say on the topic is I'm going to pause this video for a second and edit in uh, the, the final moments of my commentary for that episode. <laughs> so enjoy that. Thank you guys for watching another episode of FTL Faster Than Light. Fuck everything. Just fuck it. Just fuck everything. Every single thing that you can think of, just fuck it. That's my instructions. That's my lesson for today. Just, just see a cat? Fuck it. See you guys next time. Yeah, so uh, that's that. That was how I felt. I was trying to use the Stealth Cruiser Type B, which uh, is really, really good because it starts off with a very powerful weapon, but if your uh, weapons get knocked offline, you are fucked. You are like 100% fucked. I was playing on easy mode, never was able to leave the first sector uh, because I just continually had uh, my weapons go offline and got my ass kicked. That happened like three different runs. Let's go ahead and take, take the cube of meat here, take the damage up. Small rock, sounds good. And unfortunately no keys, that really sucks man. Would have loved to get into the shop. But uh, you can't always get what you want. Let's move onward. Let's go ahead and try to kill some of these guys. Wow, that went really well. One of the like textbook examples of using Lemon mishap effectively. But anyway, yes, let's move onward. So, yeah, I like at that point I had spent so much time recording. Uh, oh, and by the way, the, uh, the other problem, the reason I couldn't post that, because of course, obviously, I would normally just post that anyway, uh, but the reason I couldn't is because DX Tori uh, ruined the, uh, the video files. Like, for whatever reason, no idea why, it recorded a, uh, like, 1280 by 800 video on a 1280 by 720 game. Uh, which is, you know, really bad. <laughs> it just cut off the sides. I was like, I can't post this. And it was already really, really terrible because everything was going wrong, like, constantly. So I was just like, fuck it. Uh, I'll make some Isaac instead. So, sorry if you're an FTL fan, but just fuck that game right now. I could not bring myself to play more of that game. I rage quit. I legitimately rage quit. I was so mad. Nice. Health up. Uh, not allowed to switch out my spacebar item, so we'll just pick that up and put it back down so that it cannot appear in the future. And let's move onward. So, so far, this is, uh, this is actually going really well. Be very careful not to waste a key there because we do want to get into the shop on this floor for sure. Uh, but yeah, so far, really good run. A uh, lot better to have tears when you're doing tear lid in this app. And it's also nice because I don't have to worry about all these flying enemies and whether or not I can hit them with living mishap. That was a really annoying aspect of the last run. Another key, good stuff. 
only we had gotten that key on the last floor. Who knows? It could have been like the compass in there. Can you imagine? It would be just marvelous. We would be living like kings. I'd really like to get a bomb to get into that tinted rock. Uh, wow. Guess we're going into the arcade. Didn't I, like, my brain was thinking this was a shop, which is pretty stupid. Yeah, no reason to be in here at all, actually, so that was a waste of a cent. Oh, man, Judgment. Okay, we're gonna go into the shop first. Yeah, we're gonna buy the compass rather than feed Judgment for a random item. But we are gonna give Judgment one cent, and I really miss the cent that I had to go into the arcade, too. Oh, well. So, no bombs. Which means that we can't even look for the secret room, or open that tinted rock, or do any of those fun things like that. Unfortunately, but hey, compass, really good item, glad I picked that up. I'm gonna look for some money in this poop, because if we could feed Judgment a little bit more money, we could be in a good position. You could give us another item on this floor. Um, I would love to, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the gamble, I'm gonna open the, god damn it. One half heart for a key? I was really hoping there would be money in there, which there really often is. And then we could have used that potentially for uh, judgment. I'm not even sure if Duke of Flies is vulnerable to uh, when this happens. There's some enemies that look like they're flying that do, in fact, get hit by it. So, well, worth a shot. Let's grab dog food and see what's in the devil room. Uh, we could take Luckfoot, the dead cat. You know, Luckfoot, with the amount of health I have right now, I feel like Luckfoot is a worthwhile pickup. Dead cat, not so much. We're going to leave that to be. And not really anything I can do on this floor. Uh, with no resources, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, but Luckfoot is nice. That will give us all positive pills. So hopefully we'll get some more pills later on and uh, be able to use that effectively. It also means that uh, gambling will be way more worthwhile if we do that. It's a good item. I feel like I underrate Luckfoot a little bit. Uh, it's probably often worth one heart, to be honest with you. Especially if you know there's a lot of bad pills in the rotation, Luckfoot is a really good pickup because it will turn them to good pills. So if you've seen like health down, tears down, speed down, and you're like, fuck everything, and then you find Luckfoot, definitely pick it up. Because then you'll have you know the up versions of all of those things I just said and already forgot what they were. Because I am slowly going senile at the age of 23. What do we got here? Two of clubs, nice. Some three bombs. Ah, god damn it. Forgot that I wasted my key on one half heart on the last floor. But hey, I still stand by that decision. It could have been, you know, when you're when you're dealing with a judgment, you're gonna have to abandon. I think it's usually a good idea to throw all your resources at it. Because judgment's really good, man. He's almost as good as an item room. Sometimes better than an item room if he gives you, like, a bunch of stuff on the way to his... Like, well, I mean, I guess it costs money. It's like a better shop, really. But I am glad that I decided to get the compass instead. Very few things that Judgment could have given me that I would prefer to the, uh, the compass. We do have a mob trap room here. Let's check it out just in case, like, skeleton key is in there. No. Unfortunately, really need keys, man. Oop. You guys are making me nervous. Oh, I think one of the reasons I perform so much better with brimstone is because sometimes when you're shooting at enemies and they're shooting back, it could be difficult to tell exactly where their shots are. Oh, that's not an example of that. That's just an example of me being too slow to get out of the way. Please give me a key, room. You are my last chance to get a key. I'm gonna be super pissed off if I wasted my one key on half a heart and now can't go to the item room. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Ridiculous. Alright, let's go ahead and use the two of clubs and then start looking for secret rooms. There it is. Let's go ahead and bomb this. God damn it, I was really hoping for a key. Oh, a matchstick will give us some more bomb drops, I believe. People have also told me that you can pick up the matchstick when you have the tick. Seems interesting. Never encountered that myself, mostly because I basically never pick up the tick. Let's go ahead and destroy Gertie with P. Uh, that didn't really work. Blast her with piss. Oh my god. Come on, how close do I have to get to Gertie for... Uh, the lemon mishap to apply. 
Oh, I, I forget that I don't have to wait for my previous living this app to go away before I try again. Come on, man. I can't believe this. How do I? How do you hit Gertie with uh, living this app? Maybe she's immune to it. Just look at that. It's like right under her. Come on. I'm getting myself hit now, attempting to use living this app effectively. This is a tough boss to do with such low range, by the way. Oh, though she, I just realized that she's the Gertie who does not ever shoot at me. So I've been nervous about basically nothing this entire time uh, because I can just basically stand here and shoot the dude. That's the end of her. Oh man, that was close. All right, this is going to be a little bit tough approaching this uh, this maelstrom of shooting flies that she's created. Come on, come on. Right, they're all immune to living this app. That was totally not worth it. Though I did get one of them dead. Come on, man. This is annoying as hell. Oh, okay. Fucking bullet hell shooter here. Oh my god, I can't believe I got hit twice. I was trying to use my invulnerability to get me in there, but it did not work. Let's see what the devil has to offer. Hopefully something nice to make up for all that shit. Not allowed to take brimstone, because obviously it's basically a range up, so we're gonna leave both of those things be. Not allowed to take spacebar items either, obviously, and honestly, I wouldn't want to. Um, so that sucks. I'm gonna abandon an item room and move onward. I guess I could have maybe, like, no, the secret room was elsewhere. Never mind. But I was gonna say maybe I could have gone into the cursed room and then there could have been a secret room there that we could have walked through to get to the item room, but not the case. Totally not true. Please. Please, God, give me, give me a key. So many bombs. Well, I guess, you know, I did pick up an item that gives bombs, so... Oh, come on. Kill yourself on the piss. Yes! Okay, I was gonna be really pissed off if that hit me, but luckily it didn't quite. Let's check out what's in the item room. Deck of cards. I'm gonna pick that up, use it once, and put it back down for living this app. Hanged man will let us fly for one room. Could be useful. We'll see if there's like a drop in the middle of a room or something that I can get to using the hanged man. Oh, this is gonna suck. We're super slow. Nothing we can do about lust. Well, except for utilize my knockback, I guess. Poison touch is really nice. Especially since I'm gonna be getting myself hit a lot. I need that speed desperately, so let's pick that up. Um, but I'm gonna be like charging into enemies and accidentally getting myself hit trying to use Limit and Mishap a lot. So it's nice for to have a little bit of a consolation there. Another health up pill could never hurt. So let's use that. Well it could hurt if I was trying to stay at zero hearts, but obviously that's not the case right now. Okay. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable hits there. Let's continue onward. go. Still huge key problems here. It also really sucks having the Curse of Darkness because now I'm just going to wander around aimlessly because I am incapable of keeping a map in my head apparently. Oh god. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. We're fine. Everything is fine. Oh fuck. Everything is not fine. This range is really starting to get to me. This is a tough challenge, man. Blast it with piss! Ah, uh, that is a health up pill. Definitely worth a bomb. Pick that up. Very nice. Still no keys. Even if I wanted to go into the shop, I could not. Not enough health to really make me feel like it's worthwhile to go into the curse room. So we're not going to do that. Instead, let's just head over to the boss, I guess. Feeling pretty iffy about my chances on this run. Haven't really... Oh god. Come on. Haven't really gotten anything that I'm happy about so far. The, the luck foot is nice, but we haven't. We've gotten like zero pills since picking up the luck foot. Limit this app obviously is totally fucking useless. Ah, that's not true. I just. I've done a substantial amount of damage to Chubb with Limit this app. Look at all that damage. Limit this app's not so bad, it just 
you use it way too infrequently. Like it, it should be a every single room item, like a Tammy's head. Then it would be a lot better. Um, but anyway, let's move on. We're obviously not allowed to take that range up, do as per the, uh, you know, the limitations of this challenge. Anybody else think it's kind of weird that uh, your your P has less range than your tears? Like, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm, you know, projecting bodily fluids for distance, crying is definitely not my primary, uh, you know, oh my god, my primary means of attack. Definitely think I can piss a little bit further. Uh, I need to get to this chest, please, thank you. And we'll just carry around two of diamonds, I guess. See if we can get up to eight cents and then maybe buy something in a shop. Ah, god damn it! I can at least use more speed. It's a really bad challenge to be slow on. Speed is essential if you're gonna have to stay so close to enemies so you can actually dodge what they do to you. But I think we might be coming up on an early end for this challenge. Ah! Ah! God damn, like anything that shoots bullets at you is just your worst enemy in this situation. Let's go ahead and go and get the Hanged Man card so we can use that to pick up all this sweet loot up here. That pill has to be at least neutral. Ah, it was a range up. I'm not allowed to take those. Oh well. Not a lot I could have done about it in that situation. And honestly, that's going to really save me. Oh man, that's so much more range. So. Kind of feel like a filthy cheater at this point, but hey, what, what could I have possibly done about that? Except just outlaw pills. Which in hindsight maybe would have been a good idea, but I don't know, man. I feel like that would have been unnecessarily harsh for this challenge, given how difficult it already is. Oh no! That was close. I could see everything converging on me, but I couldn't quite like parse where I should stand to make it not happen, but luckily it all worked out. And be very slowly going down. Just like my ex girlfriend. Not even sure what I mean by that at this point. Just, you know, going down, need to save his blowjob. Haha, <laughs> mentioned a female. It's automatically funny. What do we got here? Friends till the end, alright. So we got a bunch of flies now. Um, why am I even up here? Like, oh, I guess I was going for the mini boss, which I just fought. So now let's hope we get a key on the way to the item room. Always a fun game. Please, please, please. Uh, okay. I really need health, man. If I could get like a full health... I, are you kidding me? That was in my range. Come on. Uh, but anyway, if I could get like a full health pill, I would be back in the game. But right now I'm feeling very... Uh, very vulnerable with so little health. Ah, nice, a key. Good. Let's go ahead and check out secret room. Nice. 16 cents. Uh, let's go ahead and just bomb our way down here. I don't feel like walking through all those rooms. I feel like that might get me killed. But now we can go into the shop. Probably fight greed. Here, let's be honest with ourselves. Almost certainly fight greed, but then from greed, get a shit ton of money. And with that money, you can double it with two of diamonds and be set for life, money-wise. Which could be nice. So, we got our one key, let's use it on the shop, I guess. Hopefully he'll drop a key. Ah, it wasn't greed! I'm very surprised. So we got the fucking goddamn notched axe. We're gonna just double our money here. Take the key, take the spirit heart, leave everything else. Ah, you know what. Take the tarot card, all I need is 15 cents for the rest of the game basically. Hey, hermit card will allow me to immediately go to the next shop, that was worth it. So, oh wait, next shop is greed! What am I thinking? Next shop is almost certainly greed I should say. Oh, I knew that wasn't greed because we already saw a mini boss on the floor. Which means that I'm not sure if the next shop is greed because I have not been keeping track. God damn it. I really need to speed up, man. 
<laughs> Rooms like that become impossible when you have low speed. Good, yeah, mom's pad, that's exactly the same as the speed up. It's not actually. Um, god damn it. So, eh, I don't really feel like it's worth it to buy the bomb, though. Yeah, let's try to get over to the boss room. Oh, god. This is probably going to be the enemy, to be honest with you. It's going to be almost impossible for me to dodge all these bombs if they surround me at all. Oh, yep, that one, not really a lot I could have done about. Okay, looks like we might actually survive this room, though. Surprising. Oh, no, 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 oh, I got stuck on the pit. Damn it, what an idiot. Okay, well, you know, I should definitely be using Limit Mishap a lot more than I am, so let's do that. The sort of item where it's really easy to forget you have it because you just, your brain is trained to think this item is fucking useless, but with infinite item power, like, why not at this point? Oh, come on. Yeah, there you go. Fly onto my piss. Oh god, <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it. Fuck you, Greed Ed. Okay. Maggie's Faith could be good. Uh, let's go ahead and leave that on the ground until we fight the boss, though, and then come back and pick it up. I, I feel like the speed is actually more valuable, though. Oh. Okay, well, we don't need to worry about any of that, because the bloat is pretty much definitely going to kill me. Like, what What could I possibly do to prevent this? God damn it. Yep. Yeah, wow. Alright, well, I'm done with video games for today. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac 1.5 edition. Sorry about everything. I'll see you guys next time.